Well, Karen, congratulations. This is your seventh Australian Open. It was your very first fourth round, and now even better, your very first quarterfinals here at Melbourne Park. Well done. How'd you play out there today? Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Um, you know, first two sets, I mean, I didn't know what's going on, but, uh, you know, it's never easy when you're going, let's say, with the score too easy, you feel it, you know, and then at one point, Yoshi tried to turn it around, he pumped the crowd, and it's normal, you know, so I tried to stay focused all the match, you know, from the beginning till the end, but it's not easy to win with this score, you know, three straight sets, so the third set, it was a really tough one, and, um, yeah, I'm playing well, so I'm really happy to go through. I did want to ask you about staying focused as you did. You win the first two sets, you know, in the way that we saw. But then when he comes back and when the crowd's there, how focused? I mean, how do you actually do that? A lot of tennis players would probably like to know how, how calm and focused a player like you can stay. I don't want to tell you the secrets, huh? <laughs> no, but uh, to be honest with you, you know, that's what mental toughness is and uh, you try to stay focused all the match even though sometimes it's not, it doesn't go your way and uh, some points goes up and down and uh, I think the belief and self-confidence helps you to, to go all the way. This court, let's talk about John Kaner Arena, second round win here, third round, fourth round here. You've won some big matches here in the past, you got a smile on your fa favourite court in the world, can we say? To be honest with you, until this year I lost all the matches on John Kane Arena, <laughs> so, and uh, this year I won three, so let's say like this, yeah, so far it's going well, maybe I can play quarterfinals here and the crowd will support me, you know, I'm like a local favourite. Just finally, quarterfinalist, you've been a semi-finalist at the US Open last year, quarterfinals of the French and Wimbledon, taking that next step, I mean, they're incredible achievements, obviously, but for you to, to take that next step, what, what do you think you need to do right out on court? First of all, I need to focus and try to win the quarterfinals, right, to go deeper. So I think the most important is to, to prepare every match, you know, and to, to believe, to believe until the end that you can do it. I think the semifinals at the US Open showed me really well where I can be, what I can do, uh, and I try to continue that way, you know, and I, I think US Open gave me a lot of confidence, so I think I rely on that, and I hope I can continue that way. There's a lot of belief in you from this crowd. Congratulations. Through to the quarterfinals, Karen Hachinov. And importantly for Hachinov as well, Rog, anytime you can get a fourth round uh, match at a Grand Slam in the men's singles and get it done within two hours, it keeps the legs fresh for the second week. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And, and he wouldn't know what's going on on uh, Rod Laver, but, you know, if they get into a big... Uh, you know, a five-set tussle, uh, things uh, things go to, more into your favour. All right, Karen, we'll He's riding a top story, novel, on the camera. Thoughtful guy, good guy as well, and uh, he'll be danger for either her cats or quarter. Absolute danger. Has he got enough? Lens. Pen's going to run out of ink. We have a round of 16 women's singles. That's a uh, personal message. Receive it. Uh, keep believing until the end.